It's a bloodbath. Uh. Yeah. Thank God February is finally almost over. Then I can take off this stupid fursona suit. You know how much misery I've had to suffer at the hands of this stupid outfit? Every single day I had to live with people calling me a pony, even though I'm not a pony. And if I wasn't being called a pony, I was being called a brony. See, on my way to go pick up some coffee today, as I was strutting along, a couple of folks stopped me and they said, we feel bad for you. I asked them, why? And they said, didn't you hear the news about Sony Interactive Entertainment? And then I had to explain to them that this was a bet I lost and they didn't believe me either. What the f is? It's a joke. Today is not a good day for journalists. They're gonna hate having to report this news. Well, unless you're Jason Schreier, who's probably getting off on it as we speak. That man lives to report on layoffs. He just doesn't live to report all the abuse at Activision Blizzard when it was happening. How you doing? Well, what's there to say? Jim, explain yourself. Well, what's there to say? It's not my first. Or my last. Honestly, Jim, pretty based answer from you. I really don't care. Now, I'm not one of the folks that's going to sensationalize a mass layoff. That's a job best saved for the gaming publications that pretend to care while also participating in layoffs. Look, I'm not expecting social media to treat this equally like they do with other layoffs, specifically the ones that come from Microsoft. But honestly, I'm all right with people caring and I'm just as all right with people not caring. Why? Because layoffs happen in just about every single industry you can think of. Hell, some probably happened at your job. But within the gaming industry itself, there's a trend going on. You see, Sony is one of many companies participating in the mass layoffs following record-breaking profits, which one should expect. Any single time you see record-breaking profits, expect a mass layoff. Adam Ruins Everything warned you about uh, the mass layoffs that come with mass consolidation. But did Mr. Adam Ruins Everything ever warn you about the mass layoffs that would happen at PlayStation? No, of course not. The PlayStation community means everything to us, so I felt it was important to update you on a difficult day at our company. We have made the extremely hard decision to announce our plan to commence a reduction of our overall headcount globally by about 8% or about 900 people, subject to local law and consultation processes. Employees across the globe, including our studios, are impacted. These are incredibly talented people who have been part of our success, and we are very grateful for their contributions. However, the industry has changed immensely, and we need to future-ready ourselves to set the business up for what lies ahead. We need to deliver on expectations from developers and gamers and continue to propel future technology and gaming, so we took a step back to ensure we are set up to continue bringing the best gaming experiences to the community. Below I've shared a copy of the email I sent out to the company this morning to provide more context on our thinking. We deeply appreciate support and understanding from the PlayStation community as these decisions are very difficult. Please rest assured that our plans for reorganizing and streamlining are so we can continue to deliver the best gaming experiences possible. Now that we're past the ABK merger, long past all those stupid conversations that came with it, we can now clearly see that in general, layoffs are going to happen, regardless of which company is the one to do it. Well, let's face it, all of these companies simply hired too many people during COVID. I know that hurts a lot of people's feelings and they don't see it as fair. Why don't you just fire one of the higher ups to save hundreds of jobs as if it works that way? No, it doesn't work that way. You don't fire the people who make you the money. You, you fire the people that cost you money. It's always been like this. That's why I wish people like Dreamcast Guy would shut his mouth up instead of acting like he knows how any of this works. Everybody wants to stand on top of their soapbox and preach to the world about how unfair and how unjust all of this is. As if businesses are not allowed to fire people. No, 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 we didn't say that. It's just the big corporations, just the mega wealthy ones. Whatever, I could sit here all day arguing with an imaginary person, but what good will that do to my mental health? So let's get back to what Jim Ryan said. 8% or about 900 people. Bye bye Jim Ryan here just gave everybody a cookie and said, Vaya, con Dios.
Jesus! Oh, look, I'll give Jim this. There's no easy way to tell 900 people, smell you later. How are you supposed to make that look like a positive thing? Hey, guys, we just had a new vision, and in our vision, 900 of you are not there. And this is going to affect a few of your studios. <laughs> Isn't that great? Often the ones to come and can you are the ones with the biggest grin on their face. And sadly, that's because smiling is a part of the job requirement. Now, normally this isn't something I would even bother to make a video on or talk about, but this is all following the events of Sony's devastating margins, and just how bloated their game budgets are, and how the PS5 has not even come close to the 25 million consoles they wanted to sell. See, Alex predicted that this would be the results of Sony not making the money they want, and he called it. Employees who are not even responsible for the state Sony is in, are gonna be the ones that get canned. Meanwhile, the ones that insured Spider-Man had an inflated budget that made it nearly unprofitable, they get to keep their jobs. Following the $10 billion lost in stocks, it was going to require more than just a few firings. So the employee that was printing out the thank you Jim Ryan on the little cookies that they were handing out at Sony Interactive Entertainment had absolutely no clue. When he presented his work to Jim Ryan, Jim just thought to himself, poor bastard doesn't even know. This all explains Sony's sudden change in business strategy and why they're now subverting expectations instead of trying to create them. AAA games are expensive. But most importantly, they take a lot of time to make. And all of this can be seen as pointless to a company like Sony, who's actually breaking records through AA games like Helldivers 2 instead, while their big AAA games have fallen short of their expectations. The shift to live service is going to benefit them. And it's honestly the right move to make, including all those PC ports. Because like I said in previous videos, the console is not enough. You're not Nintendo. Nintendo's the only console that can miss out on the majority of games coming out and still outsell the competition. The PlayStation is not him. What we're going to see is the industry go through a dramatic shift, one that is necessary, one that's going to see games' budgets get smaller, not bigger. And that's all because the highest selling games are not games that require inflated budgets. Hollywood actors, famous voice actors, or millions of dollars in advertising. You know, now that I think about it, a realization of this may actually lead to even more layoffs. I mean, just think about it. You don't think Xbox and PlayStation are counting the success of Power World and Helldivers 2 and wondering why do they have these big studios put together? Why did I ever have that many people at 343? Why the hell did we ever put all those people to work on Factions 2? The answer was right in front of us the whole time. Smaller teams, smaller projects. Oh, for that's gross speculation on your part, is it though? We looked at our studios and our portfolio evaluating projects and various stages of development and have decided that some of those projects will not move forward. Herman Holst here basically admits that a lot of projects that they had planned will not move forward. There's a lot of projects being worked on behind the scenes that are being canned right now as we speak, with one of those games being a Twisted Metal game. Why not, you stupid bastard? For the better or for the worse, we may never know, but if Factions 2 had to die so Helldivers 2 could walk, then so be it. And if 900 people gotta be canned to help prevent another Mary Jane situation in the future, then I support it. 100%. But as a witness to the mass layoffs that happened at Microsoft when they let go of 9% of their workforce, I, I can tell you the energy is not the same. Not even close. I didn't hear the end of Microsoft letting go of 9% of their workforce for over two weeks. Here, it's like the journalists had to drag themselves to report on PlayStation doing the same. And obviously, it's not treated the same either. See, when it, when it happens to Sony, there's a logical explanation. That's Sony had to let go of people. Sony's having trouble with its numbers. Unlike evil Microsoft, who did it on purpose. I hate Microsoft. Oh, don't listen to me. There is no Xbox tax. 
They both get treated equally. But you know what? Now it's time to test out the rest of the industry. Let's see. Let's see if all those talking heads suddenly remember that they care about employees in the industry and that developers' lives matter. Be sure to remind them about what happened. Because uh, I think they may have forgotten that they cared. And as for Sony, it was obviously a mistake to try and make this layoff seem like such a positive thing. Nobody wants your optimism. Well, at least not like this anyway. Is this really the news you want to deliver to people after telling them no major first party exclusives for an entire year? Well, as a matter of fact, uh, is this what you want to be telling players, Herman? PlayStation 5 is in its fourth year and we are at a stage where we need to step back and look at what our business needs. At the same time, our industry has experienced continuing and fundamental change which affects how we all create and play games. Delivering the immersive, narrative-driven stories that PlayStation Studios is known for at the quality bar that we aspire to requires a reevaluation of how we operate. Delivering and sustaining social online experiences allowing PlayStation gamers to explore our worlds in different ways, as well as launching games on additional devices such as PC and mobile, requires a different approach and different resources. <laughs> They're giving PlayStation users that Xbox PR talk. I love it. Just as I predicted. We all know what they're reevaluating. It's day and date with PC. That is what's requiring them to reevaluate how they operate. Because Helldivers 2's massive success was like Sony peeking on LSD. They finally saw the truth and they realized what they've got to do. And the only sacrifice that they have to make is cutting ties with all the lunatic fanboys. Now, there's not much else I can say for those who were fired, though. I, I hope you get back up off your feet. I mean, if you have a resume with Sony attached to it, you're more than guaranteed a job elsewhere. So, you know, good luck to everybody. Then good luck to Sony. I hope they are able to recover their losses. Kind of like I'm hoping to recover my losses and my analytics on this channel. So consider liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing if you so choose to. That being said, see you in the next one. <laughs> Free Congo sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs>